Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Bitcoin did sell off earlier today quite rapidly, but then, yeah, then stopped in this sort of, um, let's say, target zone, support zone for a C wave. Um, how did that all come together? Well, first of all, for everybody who's new on the channel, we only want to talk about the one hour chart in this video. Tomorrow we are going to take a look at the daily chart as well again. But the overall context is that we are in a way for correction and we should see trend continuation to the upside. As soon as this correction is finished, I don't see evidence for it um, to be finished already. So at the moment, I would still expect further continuation in this correction. However, I believe we are probably close to a at least local low. Um, so I mean, at least there in this A wave. So let's talk about the relevant parameters. So the idea is that in a way four, we have an ABC structure. I completed here or I labeled it as an A wave, a B wave and a C wave. In this C wave, an ideal target is the 100% extension level of the A wave. And that's at $61,300 pretty much. So that level hasn't been reached yet. Okay, we don't need to reach it, but it's an ideal level. So I would prefer the price to reach that level roughly okay so that is at least a level to watch if the price breaks below it then we're looking at 59,590 and 58,590 as next support levels but we could say that this c wave it looks somewhat incomplete could be that we get here a one a two three four five one more low would be ideal and then we have five waves down in wave c and yeah, that would be the completion of an ABC structure as highlighted in white. Now that is then basically a complete corrective structure. And we could say, okay, does this mean the wave four is over? Well, possibly, but I would need to see a convincing and impulsive rally to the upside to consider that really. I mean, I'm considering it, but for evidence, I need a five wave move up and a three wave move down, basically the next one, two setup. And if it's a clearly impulsive move, then yeah, the low was probably in. Bear in mind, the support zone here that is relevant for this wave four correction starts at 61,800. Uh, I would prefer to reach the 100% extension level, but we have a bit of a cluster of support there. And yeah, we are, I think, close to completion of an ABC structure. But because we know how wave four corrections behave, I definitely don't want to be caught out and don't want anybody in the community to be surprised. It is possible, and actually that's what I would expect, that this here is only the larger A wave of an even larger wave four. We could then, from here, as I said, I believe we are close to at least a local low. We could see a B wave rally as highlighted in yellow, and then another larger C wave down eventually. That could carry on for a bit. And the wave four could then be a little lower, but we often see that, okay? We often see that, that these wave four corrections stretch out. The wave four would then be here. And only later we would start with that move to the upside. That's something to be aware of. Um, either way, as soon as I see the first impulse, I will highlight that, yeah, we could have bottomed. And then I will provide a support area for the subsequent pullback and that would be for, for example in the yellow count the next move up would likely be an abc structure whereas in the scenario in which a low is in we'd be looking at that one two three four five and this one two setup could be the first signal we will likely not really know that we've bottomed until we fill in all five waves but this one two setup could already be a setup I mean, as the name suggests. Now at the moment, I wouldn't be surprised if we get one more low. In fact, I would prefer one more low to reach here 61,280, possibly a little lower, but then at least we have um, a complete C wave, which has also reached the ideal target. And we would have reached the support zone that we've been talking about for the last couple of weeks. Basically, there isn't much more to add. So that's my update about Bitcoin. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. 
Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.